I am making a documentary no, that's new. Oh, well, please, let's not go there. Why isn't the documentary I'm making new? This is just your parents. What, how many people can we be? Well, the film isn't about you. They're oh. secondary characters. Oh. Now we know who the primary character is. I'm Joanna Arno, and I'm the director, cinematographer, one of the editors, and one of the subjects of the personal documentary, I Hate Myself Smiley Face, that's streaming on Metrograph at home this month. I got the idea to make this film because I um, was recording an open mic uh, that my boyfriend at the time, James, who became the subject of the film, that he was hosting, and I accidentally ended up recording a argument that we got into um, because the cameras were left rolling and the argument was recorded on our logs. And then when I listened back to that about a week later, it was um, interesting to me how something that was troubling at the time became uh, funny with some distance. And it got me thinking that uh, telling a personal story about this relationship might be something that uh, would be also funny and relatable to others. One of my favorite movies is Bob Fosse's All That Jazz. And I really wanted this documentary to be like that film in some ways. It's not quite as much like that as I, you know, hope, but I kind of do I uh, think that in some ways it explores the way that art and life can um, affect each other and their narratives can become intertwined. And I also um, was interested in personal documentaries such as, you know, Ross McElwee's Sherman's March that, you know, gave me the idea that personal documentary was a thing you could do. You know, it's funny watching yourself on a film, I remember, uh, watching and being like, oh, wow, I'm like way more annoying <laughs> than I thought. But I also found that really funny. And I think that, you know, interest in finding humor in uh, my foibles is one of the things that kind of propel forward my uh, filmmaking and trying to make it outward facing for audiences. I was the only person who shot it. For the most part, we had a few interns uh, who did like, you know, maybe a couple hours here and there when we filmed the edit. Um, but for the most part, I was the person behind the camera and doing sound. Um, and I don't know how many days I shot it for. I think I probably had like 100-ish hours of footage, pretty small for a doc feature. In the beginning of the film, I thought it was going to be about more about James and um, our relationship. But uh, over the course of the edit, I decided that I wanted to make myself a central character of the story as well, mainly because I felt that I was the one who had changed more over the process of, of making it. So at that point, I decided to film the edit process as well because I felt like interviews with myself or voiceover seemed kind of uh, self-indulgent to me for a story like this and it felt more interesting to get my part of the story um, in the film in a more conflict-driven way and uh, I was uh, having some you know heated discussions with uh, the other editor of the film Max Carson. <laughs> Max is being an asshole and I can't remember what to say to, to make him stop or, or to, to defend myself about how I look and how I dress and and why. Oh, no. like, it was challenging to find a place for I Hate Myself Smiley Face. Uh, we showed it uh, at just uh, probably five festivals at the time. And um, yeah, just continuing to believe in the film and put it out in the world when it was um, having a tricky time finding the right uh, places to show it. But I was really appreciative when uh, it had its world premiere at Rooftop Films back in 2013, uh, 11 years ago, as well as a sneak preview at the Lower East Side Film Festival. And um, 
these two festivals have shown all of my work since, and I just feel like I really got my start as a filmmaker from uh, these places, and I'm really grateful to them. I feel like smaller festivals, and not that they're so small, they're great, but um, festivals like these really uh, give filmmakers who don't necessarily have connections um, a chance to get started and platforms to get their work shown and written about. It's funny to me that a lot of people think that it's a fiction film when it's a documentary. And so I, I guess I would just emphasize that if it's a documentary and, you know, things like the tooth being pulled out on camera, or it's all, it's all real. <laughs> For people preparing to shoot their first film, I would say that film is such a relationship-based medium that uh, it's really important to find the right collaborators who share your vision and, and really um, be kind to them and, and um, you know, build strong relationships uh, and that'll all show up in the film as well.